just for shits and giggles, let's throw this out there. Whether or not you can wrap your brain around this topic or not, whether or not you've accepted the existence of these things or not, it doesn't matter. Just play along with me. So, uh, and you'll understand how my brain works when I'm trying to, when I'm tr as I'm trying to find some pieces to this puzzle make sense to it, you know, especially from a professional big game guides um, approach. You know, because we have to nonstop try to figure out the whys, the hows, the whens, the whats with something that we're interested in and figure it out, figure out its characteristics, its habits, its food, its, its habitat, everything. And you put the puzzles together. You, you put the pieces of the puzzle together. And that's what I'm trying to do. I've tried to in the past with these things. And it just does not make sense. You know, something like these things, let's just say, if they decided to, if one decided to, if it got up on the wrong side of the bed one morning and decided to, it, it decided it hated human beings and it was going to try to kill as many as it could in one night in the community. Let's just chuck that out there, okay? One of those beings could kick in any doorway, probably a hole in the wall of your house, in probably 10 seconds or less, enter your home and kill every being in your home just like just like a small dog would just like a dog would in a mouse nest or a chicken coop you're gonna go in there one of these things could go in there and grab every single human being and pop its head off like a like nothing in probably less than two minutes one house annihilated in less than two minutes very very easily and they could make their way to the next home rural home and do the exact same thing in less than five minutes and go from home to home to home to home if they felt so inclined. And that's pretty freaking crazy. That's a pretty crazy thing to imagine in a picture, but it's true. <laughs> it's absolutely true. I know uh, if you were to pit some one or more of these things against us in the middle of the night in a rural community, Mm -mm -mm. with no warning whatsoever and not understanding what's going on you wouldn't stand a freaking chance so when I think about these different creepy make-believe scenarios thank God hopefully make-believe um, it just doesn't make sense to me what's stopping them what's stopping these things from absolutely harming us what stops them you know it's so freaking confusing I don't know I haven't I haven't the answer but I think the answer is probably a little overwhelming. It's a little much for your average, obviously, your average human being to take in and accept or deal with. You know, the majority of people who are aware of these things spend a lot of time banging sticks on frickin' trees and clacking rocks and making stupid whoop sounds and taking pictures of footprints and making casts of them. <laughs> Teach your own, whatever turns you crank, but that's not doing shit for solving the big picture puzzle of these things. It's just not. You know, whatever the deal is, if there's a previous deal, whoever or whatever it is that's intimidating these things to uh, to leave us alone at all costs, on average, it's just, I can't even think up an answer for that. How do you even think up an answer for that one? How do you even think up that story? I haven't a freaking clue. And that's where my brain goes to uh, trying to dig and dig and dig and, and, and uh, find very, very intelligent people to share to share what they know and possibly maybe um, possibly maybe the answer to this will be available one day <laughs> our generation maybe maybe not who knows future generation probably I mean it's still all everything comes to the surface eventually in life no matter what you know but it sure is one hell of a it sure is one hell of a mind-boggling topic and like I said before I don't know how many times I wished I didn't know about these damn things. You know, sometimes I'll look at people and I'll see how, in a way, simple their life is. You know, they go to work every day, they come home, they watch their half an hour sitcom with their wife or husband, raise the kids, get the mortgage, buy the camper, the boat, go on your two weeks holidays and uh, work towards retirement and then you're done. You know, sometimes I wish uh, well, not quite, but I mean, I, I, sometimes I wonder what it would be like to be able to be able to be that content, overlook all the shit that's going on for real on the planet, and just stay on that course, uh, somewhat numb between the years for the majority of that lifetime, and, uh, and then pack around and call it quits at the end. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder what that must be like, but 
I can't do it. I don't have I don't have the, the mind for that. I see outside the box too clearly and uh, and curious and I have a burning curiosity, but I do not have a burning urge to go into the remote areas to find these beings and have a one-on-one -on -one with them. I don't have that anymore. I'm done. I'm good. I still frequent the same areas these beings frequent, and every single time I go, I just keep it in my brain. I know you're here. You know I'm here. Let's not ruin it for each other. Just leave me alone. I'm not interested. I'm good. I know they're there. I've seen these damn things. There's no going back. Um, I've got a ton. I've got lots of friends. They don't even want to talk about the topic. They think it's an absolute lunatic topic, and they don't care. That's fine too. I don't push it with them. I don't care. I don't need anybody to accept these things. I don't need anybody to accept this story. I, I don't like using the word believe in. <laughs> I, do you believe in them? You know, that's like, that's like a religion or something, or that's like Santa Claus. You know, like, do you believe in that story? It's not a story, it's nothing, not something to believe in anymore. It's whether or not you have the knowledge and whether or not you can accept the facts. That's it. So. I don't ask people if they believe. I ask them if they have the knowledge in these beings and if they accept the fact they exist or not. It's not a belief. <laughs> it's how much knowledge you have. And that is all it is. But anyway, there you go. There is, for numerous people out there that ask me why I stopped physically looking, you know, intentionally looking, pursuing these things in the mountains, in the forest, intentionally, that's why. Because I feel I was basically told to ram it up my ass and to leave it from them directly. And I'm like, okay, I'm good. But it doesn't stop me from being curious about what the hell is really going on in the face of this planet. That is uh, definitely a... I am very, very curious of that. <laughs> There's some crazy ass things going on in this lifetime on this planet that we are not aware of and it is held from us. And I, I couldn't even dream up the real true story. I can't even think up an excuse and a story, an explanation for what's going on yet. Because I haven't a clue. But you know, as far as the population goes, and, and there's a lot of people out there that think the population needs to accept the fact of these beings existing. Uh, some people say they need to be protected. <laughs> that makes me laugh every time. Really? These things need to be protected. <laughs> no, they don't. They're doing quite fine on their own. But, uh, you know, one easy example I can use to describe us as a species, as a population of basically 90% frickin' numb between the ear window lickers is uh, we can take the, the, uh, the World Trade Center de demolition we can take that as a clear example of why, how we are dim, more dim than we aren't as a whole. When you can take, you know, a couple airplanes smashing into the Twin Towers, making them crumble, whether or not that was the what made them crumble or not, who knows. But when you can take multiple video angles of that third building collapsing without anything impacting it, and they have that, you've all seen it, and uh, the entire population will just stare at that video tape like a bunch of drooling window lickers. Oh, wow. And then turn around and carry on with their daily lives and go back to work. Does that not creep you out? <laughs> that absolutely creeps the shit out of me. As a blatant example of what we are as a group, that's pretty freaking bizarre that whoever did that blatantly did that and got away with it and don't have to explain anything to the world. That is incredible. That's absolutely incredible to me. And a show of just how common it is and how many human beings are basically numb between the ear, window-licking beings. <laughs> As they sit there and watch that video of an entire building crumbling in New York City without anything impacting it. It's amazing. And it, you know, it's kind of shitty as also is all you gotta do is get some asshole in the news or something to label as to, to scream out the words conspiracy theory. You know, as soon as you yell out conspiracy theory, most human beings get terrified. 
just like the word racist does the exact same thing. Call him a racist, it'll shut him right up. Say it's a conspiracy theory, or, you, or just call that person a conspiracy theorist, and that'll shut him up, and that will discredit that person amongst the majority of the population instantly. Just a couple of stupid words, just a couple of names. Isn't that amazing? We're an amazing, amazing... It's amazing times to be alive, that's for sure. And, uh... It's just mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling what's going on on this planet and how many of us don't care and how many of us don't have the, the brain capacity, the tools to uh, investigate, show concern or be concerned. It's mind-boggling to me. It's just bizarre how the majority of us are just sitting there dumbfounded, drooling, gawking at a screen and shrugging it off and carrying on in our daily lives. That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But anyway, so there you go. Um, there's a little bit more. So there you go. You can dig into my brain a little bit more and see how I operate. I see how I think and carry, carry myself and govern myself. And believe me, if I could lead the charge and get the population to rise up and stand against the tyranny that's going on, I would in a heartbeat and I'd fight to the death for it. But obviously you can't do something like that alone. And it's so widespread. It's such a mess now. Whoever it is, whoever's doing it, I don't know, having the answers. But whatever's going on out there, it's huge. It is freaking way bigger than us. And a very, very large of a item and a topic to ta tackle as being a, a mere normal, average, mortal human being as I, or you, and many of us out there, you know? It's, uh, it's crazy. Being alive is a crazy, crazy experience. It's a crazy ride. So anyway. There you go. There's another quick story, another example, and I will share more with everybody and share more adventure stories. I'll, uh, I'll share more of the Sasquatch stories that have been emailed into me, and, uh, and we'll just keep this ball rolling and keep people informed and keep sharing the knowledge and keep sharing the facts and sharing the experiences. It's all we got. It's all we can do. There we go. More stories coming.